Here's the first red flag, that 3i Atlas was no ordinary comet, it woke up in the deep freeze. Most comets are quiet until they cross inside the solar system's frost line near Jupiter's orbit, roughly 5 astronomical units from the Sun. But 3, I Atlas was already active at 6.8 AU, far out where the Sun is just too weak to sublimate water ice. Ground-based telescopes following up on alerts from observers like Karen Meech at the University of Hawaii noted a persistent brightening of 0.3 magnitudes in just 48 hours. For an object this distant, that represents a massive increase in its gas and dust output. This sustained activity, producing a tenuous coma when the surface temperature was below 150 degrees Celsius, pointed to a body born in a place fundamentally different from our own solar system. Its engine had to be a hyper-volatile ice, something that turns to gas in the slightest warmth of the distant sun. The comet's tail grew at a pace that honestly stunned the teams watching, driven by gases that simply shouldn't have been active so far out. It was the first clue that the chemistry of this visitor, as cometary expert Michael Mumma might put it, was deeply, profoundly wrong.